A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship to this live stream at the Ucesan Shrine of Jesus Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Wednesday of the 22nd in Ordinary Time. Our Mass Presider is Rev. Ronald Ray Espartinez, SVD, Vice Rector. Our celebration will now begin. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, welcome to this Holy Mass celebration. We are here at the Daisisan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City, Philippines. We come to together this Mass and bring our request to the Lord. May the Lord grant our prayers. And so for us to worthily offer ourselves in this holy celebration, let us first recall our sins and ask God for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not talk to you as spiritual people, but as fleshly people, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able even now, for you are still of the flesh. While there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of man? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos after all, and what is Paul? 
ministers through whom you became believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers, you are God's field, God's building. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell on the earth, he who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice, in his holy name we trust. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Please stand to honor the gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they were interceded with him about her he stood over her rebuked the fever and it left her she got up immediately and waited on them at sunset all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him he laid his hands on each of them and cured them and demons also came out from many shouting you are the son of Ma god but he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the christ at daybreak jesus left and went to a deserted place the crowds went looking for him and they and when they came to him they tried to prevent him from leaving but he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hello everyone, despite also those in the online, how are you doing? Kamusta naman po kayo? I hope you are doing fine in life. Please allow me to tell you a story. 24 years ago, yung po ay 1998, ako ay second year high school. Then, may kanta that caught my attention. Why it caught my attention? Kasi ang kumanta ay si na Whitney Houston, at si Maria Cari. Karniwan kasi, they are singing pop songs, o yung mga makikwela at mga songs na romantic. But this time is different. 
the song was about faith and miracle. Kakaiba sa akin, so it caught my attention. Ang title ng kanta ay, When You Believe. Let me tell you some parts of the song. Sabi doon, there can be miracles when you believe. Just believe. You will when you believe. Friends, this is aligned to the teaching of the Catholic Church, especially promoted by St. Augustine. Sabi ni St. Augustine, when you start first to believe, then only you will see and understand. So keep believing. There is a miracle. You must first have to believe so that you can see it and therefore you can understand. It may not make sense for now, but it will make sense later if you continue to believe. If you are going to ask me, I believe in miracles. I believe that miracles still do happen. Like in the Gospel, I hope you notice, yung narrator in the Gospel emphasize the word <coughs> sunset. Sunset. May meaning po yung sunset sa Gospel. Ang Tagalog ng sunset ay takip silim o mas maganda, <coughs> palubog na yung araw. Palubog na. Ibig sabihin, metaphorically, yung mga tao, dahil may sakit sila, they are only clinging to hope na lang talaga. Parang nasa at one foot, totoo ba ito? Mag Magpapagaling ba talaga ako? Pero at one point, at one foot naman, sige, try nga natin si Jesus. Palubog na yung araw. Ibig sabihin, they don't know if they're going to believe or not. Kasi nga, the case seems hopeless and there's no more way. But they took a chance. Palubog na. Maybe some of us, palubog na. But we take, we take a chance with Jesus. Tama po kayo. Through it all, believe no matter what. Meron pong kanta si Don Moen that I love the most. Yung kantang, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sabi sa kanta ni Don Moen, Thank you, Lord, for all you have given to me. For all the blessings that I cannot see. Still, thank you, Lord. Kasi there are still really blessings that we cannot see but is already there. That's why I believe in miracle. Kasi po, why I believe in miracle? Kasi it may not come as you expected them to happen, but they still do happen in God's own way, in God's own time, and God's own purpose. And sometimes, when God answer our prayers, He sent it in a form sa paraan that sometimes the most important and the one we needed the most. Let me give you a story to bring home my point. Sometimes God sent us answers to our prayer, the one we really need the most. Yung kwento po to ni Father Henny Sanchez, an SVD who worked for many long years in Africa. Sabi ni Father Henny, one time, he went pumunta siya sa Lourdes, France, sa Grotto, kasama yung mga pilgrims from Africa. Ngayon, kasi the place is believed to be miraculous, sabi niya, if you go there, you will notice plenty of letters posted around. Yung mga nagpapasalamat because they were cured physically. They went there, when they went home, they were cured physically. Miracle. And you will even see mga medical instrument lying around mga saklay, stretcher, kasi gusto nila sabihin ng mga nagamot doon, testimony, that they went home cured. Yun ang sabi ni Father Henny Sanchez. Pero sabi ni Father Henny, he also imagined, he also imagined, kung pumunta yung aeroplano, may sakay kunwari na, na 200, siguro 10 went home physically cured. But how about that 190 who He said, might went home, not physically cured and restored. Pero sabi niya, believe, he believed that even they went, kahit umuyok man sila, not physically healed, they went home, not anymore the same person. May nagbago sa kanila. They must experience God's miracle 
and intervention in other way, what are those? First, maybe some found peacefulness in the midst of the emotional turbulence in the face of death. Diba? They, they found peacefulness in the midst of turbulence. Alam yung turbulence? Gumaganong aeroplano? Sometimes when we heard the diagnosis or we cannot pay our bills, you cannot sleep at night, but you receive peacefulness. That's how God may answer your prayer. Pangalawa, sabi ni Father Henny, he believed many people went home healed. How they were healed? Through acceptance of their physical ailments. Kasi one of the main problems when you got sick, you will deny it. And you know, denial is more dangerous because, because you will not get diagnosis. If you cannot go to a doctor, you cannot be treated properly. Then you cannot get healed. That's why one of the most important healing is acceptance. Acceptance. Kaya when you pray, you say, Lord, help me accept. Help me accept. It's a road toward healing. The rest will follow. Pangatlo, sabi ni Father Henry Sanchez, maybe some may not be went home physically cured, but they found healing through acceptance of the fact that they are sick. And from there, it will open to them new mission and reason in life. Kaya nga, sabi ni St. Paul, one of the highest you can do when you are suffering, offer your suffering to the Lord to participate in His suffering. One, you can offer your suffering for the good of the church, for the salvation of the souls in purgatory, or for families who are getting, who are broken apart that may be reunited. So there's indeed purpose for our pains. And last, sabi ni Father Henny, many went home, may not physically healed right away, but God may have filled their heart with strength. Kasi alam nyo, it's a miracle if you do not feel defeated. It's a miracle itself when you feel not defeated by suffering. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with me? It's a miracle when you feel not defeated by suffering. It's a miracle to remain motivated to become an inspiration to many people even you are in the face of uncertainties of death. So ito po ang point ko. Ito ang sinasabi ko na pindilan, pin, mean many times God pinapadala niya ang kanyang mga sagot sa kanyang sarili pamamaraan and sometimes these other forms can sometimes be the most important and the one we did it the most. Friends, in closing, please continue believing. Please continue giving a good fight no matter what. Be courageous. Be fearless in life. God is with you always. We rise to offer to the Lord our intercessory prayers. Like the people who brought to Jesus all who were sick or possessed by demons, we bring before our Heavenly Father all who are filled with pain and sorrow and in need of healing love. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may seek to free persons from whatever stands in the way of communicating the gospel to men and women of our time, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that the Lord may give hope and encouragement to the starving of the world who are unjustly deprived of food, clothing, or freedom, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that those who suffer from depression and anxiety may find in Christ a sure anchor as the way, the truth, and the life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those suffering through illness for whom life has become an intolerable burden may see meaning in their trials, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our frontline health care workers and other essential workers, that God may cover them with this mantle of protection, sustain them, and give them strength as they perform 
their respective duties. May we have enough medical provisions, health care facilities, and other resources to use for everyone who need cure. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead and those who mourn may have hope in the resurrection of Jesus. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. In a special way, I would like to lift up to the Lord the intentions of Mrs. Tele Velasco and Banji Abenes. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord, and so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Who comes in the name of the Lord? Oh, 
Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto Ongchoco, the Bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Cubao, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Friends, gathering all our prayers into one, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. <clears throat> Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Ang kapay, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Friends, let us share to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Those in the online, across Facebook and YouTube channels, kapayapaan po sa inyong lahat. Friends, this is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should, should enter under, under my, my roof, but, but only, only say, say the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray.
renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you and our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oracio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our needs to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear and the sickness and the death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use this medicine developed to end the pandemic in our country and to the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with confidence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body. Strengthen their in their commitment and protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they restore to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calunzod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Fernandez. Pray for us. Please be seated. Maupo muna tayo sa kaunting sandali. I have some to I have two announcements. Una muna ay by the way, ako si, to those in the online, I am Father Ronald S. Partinez, SVD, the Vice Director ng Simbahan. Yung una kong announcement ay, I would like to, those in the online, I would like to thank you for always being with us. Uh, kasi for the past days, sabi, humihina na yung mga subscribers sa internet, even sa mga kagabi, I, I read, even sa yung, yung mga internet subscriptions, because people are now busy in day-to-day -day life but there will always be a need for online masses and i would like to thank all of you for always taking part and choosing the diocesan shrine of just the divine word to cater to your spiritual needs by the way ang ami po palang coordinator sa social media i see alan robinson's he is now working in Cavite while real time having this social media apostolate. Ito pala mga camera na ito, directly, this will be delivered to many homes across the Philippines and the world. Ang naupo naman po dyan sa loob ay si Mary Jane Guting at yan po si Divine Royeras. They are actively engaged to serve you sa social media apostolate. Pangalawa po din pala, just in case you have a concern or questions comments who you would like na mailapit sa amin, please let us know. You can send it to us via this following details on your screen. Lalabas po dyan how you can send your questions or concerns to us. Kung may mga katanungan kayo, you can send us to our online ay landline number. Nandiyan din po sa poster na yan, yung aming cell phone number. I think maganda sana yung screenshot it para for later purposes. Nandiyan na rin po yung aming email number or email address, shrine of Jesus the divine word at gmail.com and we also invite you, you can follow us sa aming pong Facebook page for kung gusto nyo malaman kung sino mga pare ang magmimisa by Sunday kung gusto nyo yung option nyo, kung, kung type nyo ito hindi, <laughs> the priest the schedule ng mga pare ay nandun na po sa aming Facebook page 
Laisisan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. But, oh, anything, any concern, just message us to that Facebook page. Meron po kami YouTube channel, Laisisan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. As sa mga gusto magpamisa, we accept and we have a reliable platform to receive your mass intentions. Pwede nyo po maipadala yan sa amin by uh, bit.ly www.bit.ly Shrine Intentions or you can send it via our email address or Facebook Messenger. So that's all. So again, please let us know if you have any concern or comments to send to us or how we can best of help and serve you. Thank you so much. See you in the following days. Magsitayo po tayo for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.